Hi everyone! Alright, so in today's video we'll be talking about UVs and how to set up UDIMs with garments that were created with Marvelous Designer. So I feel like this image is the perfect visual representation of what I'm trying to explain throughout the video. These are the exact same garment, but you can see the garment on the left has no UDIMs and it just utilizes one UV tile. So all of the pattern pieces from Marvelous Designer are crammed into one UV tile and you can see even on 4K resolution with just a single UV tile that th this material is still blurry. But if you go the, ute, the route of using UDIMs and we take each pattern piece and allocate it into its own UV tile so that it takes up a lot more space, we're going to get much higher quality texturing whenever we are applying materials onto our garment. You can, so you can see over here the difference is night and day and they are both on 4K resolution. So if you're interested in this entire UV workflow and how to create UDIMs, then stick around and without further ado, let's get started. And once this is all set up, you'll even be able to paint seamlessly across your garments. So this is something you could never do before. And this is a feature that was introduced in the later versions of Substance Painter. I'm using Substance Painter 2020.2. So if this is something you've been wanting to do, this will be set up as well. So like I said, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so if you check the link in the description of the top comment, you will see that I supplied you with a link to download this Marvelous Designer project file. Now make sure that you're at least using Marvelous Designer 8 or 9 so that you have access to this UV editor because if you don't have the UV editor, you won't be able to complete this tutorial. So just download the project file and just go ahead and open up the project and you'll be presented with this t-shirt. And this is a t-shirt that I created from one of my previous tutorials. So you can even watch that and you can see how to create this t-shirt from start to finish. But anyway, I'll be showing you the workflow for creating UDIMs with this, uh, this garment and then we'll be taking it over to Substance Painter. So if you're using your own garment, just something I would recommend is to select your entire garment and just lower your particle distance so that you can get some much higher quality uh, with your simulation. You can see over here we've got some really nice high quality folds and that's because the particle distance over here is on 5. And then once you've done that, also just go ahead and quadrangulate your garment so that it actually puts it in quads like this. Okay, and then once you've done that, we are good to go. We can actually head over to the UV editor. Okay, so let's head over to the UV editor and I do this with every garment. Making sure you have a good UV layout is definitely going to help you later on with texturing. So we'll go to the UV editor. So we can see we've got our patterns over here and something to mention, whenever you draw out a pattern in Marvelous Designer, you are essentially creating your UVs. First thing I want to do is right click, go to set UV from pattern alignment. Now it sets the pattern layout exactly the same way that we see it in the simulation. Let's just go back to UV Editor. Now we want to right click and se select Fit UV to Unified and click on OK. So it takes that entire pattern and basically squishes it down into one UV tile. So at this point you actually could export the garment with all of your pattern pieces in one UV tile but you can see these pieces are really small and the quality of any textures you apply on you are not going to look that great especially on 4K resolution it's still going to look blurry because this is quite small. So with UDIMS you can allocate an individual pattern piece to its own UV tile which is fantastic. So in this case I'm actually going to select both of these sleeves and I'm just going to scale this up like this. Let me just bring this next to the sleeve because I want to scale these up to be the same size. Okay, so this sleeve is going to take up an entire UV tile like this and then I'll move this to another UV tile. So you can use as many UV tiles as you want and uh, the more space that it takes, takes up within a UV tile, the higher the texel density and the better the quality is actually going to look. All right, but I want to make sure that the scale of these are the same just so the texel density matches on both sleeves. All right, because if they're not the exact same size, uh, then the texel density can look of a, it can basically be of a higher resolution on one sleeve as opposed to the other one. So by selecting both of them and scaling them up like that is way better. Now you can see this takes up so much space. It's got its own UV tile and this is going to look way better, especially when you texture in this part of the garment. Now I'll just go ahead and allocate these pieces. So these pieces, it really depends. If you're doing close-ups, maybe you want really high quality and you want to uh, place this piece of the garment into its own individual tile. But in my case, I'm actually going to put all of these in, the, in uh, just one UV tile like this. Okay, and just scale them up. Okay. 
and just place all of them into one UV tile. So this is really important, just making sure your UVs are nice and organized, that you have allocated enough space for them so that the texel density is really high. You're going to get really nice high quality textures whenever you are painting this garment in Substance Painter. So here for the front and the back, I'm going to select both pieces and scale this up because I definitely want them to be the exact same scale within the UV tile because like I mentioned earlier, I don't want the texel density on these pieces to be different from each other. And there we go. So now we've got five UV tiles. Just make sure this is within the UV tile and it's not overlapping like that because that will cause issues. And there we go. So we've got five UV tiles and we've automatically created UDIMs for this garment. So when we actually save this out, uh, the OBJ is going to have these UDIMs applied to it. So the process for creating UDIMs is complete and it really is as simple as placing each pattern piece into its own UV tile. Now let's go back to simulation. Let's select the entire garment and let's export this out. So go to File, Export OBJ Selected. And I already created a folder on my desktop over here called Garment Tutorial. And then I'll just call this Garment and click on Save. All right, so these are going to be my export settings. I'm putting this on Thin. If you want to include thickness, like if you're not taking it over to ZBrush, if this is your final garment that you're going to be texturing, you can leave it on Thick because maybe you applied some thickness in Marvelous Designer. In my case, I'm going to put it on Thin and I'm using multiple objects. Very important, make sure unified UV coordinates is selected or else you won't get the UVs. And make sure unified texture is deselected because this is going to cause issues in Substance Painter and it won't be able to identify the UDIMs. Right, then everything else I think you can leave default. I've got mine on centimeters and we are good to go. And then just click on OK. It's going to export it out and we can head over to Substance Painter. Right, so you need to make sure that you're at least using Substance Painter 2020.2 so that you have access to the new UDEM feature. So in Substance Painter, let's go to File, New. We're going to click on Select and then let's go to our folder with our garment. So here's our OBJ. We'll click on Open. So very important, by default this should be turned off. Just make sure Use UV Tile Workflow is enabled and Preserve UV Tile Layout per material and enable painting across tiles. So this is going to enable UDEMs and we'll even be able to paint freely across our garment. And then from there you can click on OK. It's going to import your garment into Substance Painter. There we go. And if I zoom out over here, as long as you see in multiple tiles like this, exactly the same way we laid out our UDEMs in Marvelous Designer, you are good to go. You can see all of our UV tiles are located under just the single group. So we've got five tiles, exactly like how we laid them out in Marvelous Designer. And this garment is good to go and ready for texturing. So at this point, we're actually done. You know the entire process for setting up the UDEMs. You've brought the garment into Substance Painter and now you can start texturing it freely. But just some other tips I want to mention. If you want to apply one of these materials to a specific UDEM region, it's actually very simple. So let's go to Layers. And for the sake of this, because this has got a tileable pattern on it, I'm just going to drag this aluminium over here. Now this is going to apply this material onto the entire garment, but what if I want to put this material just onto one specific region? You'll see that we have this grid pattern over here, and if I click on that, you'll see that we get all of these numbers for our UDIMs. So just pay attention to this number. You can see this is 1001. If I want this on the front and the back, I'll just disable everything else except for 1001 and 1003. And there we go. So that's allocated onto the front and back. Okay, and if I click on the paint bucket, I can play around with some of the scaling over here and we can get some really nice high quality materials because we've set up these UDEMs really nicely to take up a whole lot of space in that UV tile. And to see these textures in a much higher quality, I can go to my texture set settings and you'd want to do this for the material that's right at the top of your layer stack. You'd want to change that to something like 4K and now you're going to see this in high quality and this really comes in handy. So there we go. Now you can see even if I zoom in really close, the quality still holds up and that's because this pattern piece is taking up so much space in the single UV tile. So now you can see uh, how beneficial UDIMs are, especially when it comes to texturing. Okay, so I'm going to put this back on 1K. And just for the sake of this, let's actually apply this material onto every single UDIM tile. And I want to show you what's awesome about using UDIMs is that 
we can allocate materials to a specific region, but I can also paint freely across this entire garment uh, and I can paint across the seams as well. So to do that, let me just create an, a paint layer over here and then just right click and select add black mask. So this is right at the top of my layer stack and you'll see if I start painting here, remember there's a seam over here by the sleeve. So technically it should stop over there, but because we're using UDEMS, I can just paint freely across that region. So this is extremely useful, especially maybe if you're doing patterns where you know, you've got this design that continues from the back of the garment and it goes onto the sleeve. You can now paint that freely across those seams. Okay, so you understand the whole entire workflow. Go out there, have fun, play around with some of the materials. Uh, the quality is definitely going to hold up even on 4K resolution because of how we set up our UDEMs. Okay, so there we go. And if you're wondering why the geometry looks like this, it's because I exported, the, exported this out as thin, uh, but the OBJ itself will still have internal geometry in another 3D program. So don't worry about this at all if you think this looks really strange. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and actually export out these textures. You'll just go to File, Export Textures. And then I'm using the default template. You can see over here on the list of exports that it exports out base, height, metallic, normal, a whole bunch of maps for every single UDEM tile. So there's quite a lot of textures that it's actually going to be exporting. Uh, but yeah, you'll have every single material applied onto those UDEMs and you just simply click on export. And then once the exporting process is complete, you'll be able to click on open output, uh, open output directory so that you can find all of those exported materials. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the tutorial. I just tried another material on here, this knit uh, material, just to see how it looks. And it still holds up. So again, maybe maybe not for extreme, extreme close-ups, but trust me, the quality of the texturing is still going to look way better than all of these pattern pieces just crammed into one UV tile. And I clicked on this icon over here to go to iRay, and it was still looking pretty good. Uh, so I thought I would just share this workflow with you when it comes to, to texturing. So I hope this has been useful. As always, I truly appreciate the support on this channel. Stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye. <laughs>